Hi guys, welcome to Linux our YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your Linux trainer. So what's new in this video? In this video I will tell you how to work with eligible facts in playbook. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is what is eligible fact and their use cases. So for demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my eligible facts lab setup environment. So the first question come in our mind is what is eligible facts? So eligible facts are variable that are automatically discovered by the eligible on the managed host. Facts contain host specification information that can be used just like regular variables in place, conditionals, loops or any other statement that depends on a value collected from the managed host. Some of these facts gather for a managed host like uh, the kernel version, network interfaces, IP address and the host name, version of the different type of operating systems, number of CPU uses, available disk space and memory and many more. So in other terms we can say that facts are the uh, easiest way to retrieve the stage of managed host to determine what action should be taken based on the current status. Just like for example, a server can be restarted by a conditional task which is run based on fact containing kernel version. Okay. So for the lab session here I have a two tested virtual machine. First machine acting as a control node having the IP address 10.0.0.1 with the server 1.pool.org host name and the current eligible version is 2.9.1 and I am using on this machine RHEL version 8.0. On the other hand, my second machine acting as a managed host, I am talking about this one. The host name is client1.pool.org and the IP address is 10.0.0.1 and the running Linux OS is Royal 8.0. So what I am going to do, I am on the control node here, I make some, I will make some few playbooks which showing different cases of eligible facts conditions and then I am going to deploy this playbook on the managed host. Okay, so let's begin the lab session. So here I am on the control node. Firstly, I will show you the host name and the Red Hat release version and the eligible version. Okay, so guys, this is my server1.pool.org that is control node and currently I am using Red Hat release version 8.0 and my eligible version is that is 2.9.1. Okay. Now, so the point is how to gather the facts. So one way to see what facts are gathered from the managed host is used to set up module. So I will show you, I use the command eligible-m setup all. So this command will show the content of eligible facts variable from every single managed host. Okay, so I press enter, look at that what happened. So I pressed it, it takes some time, look at that. So this is a huge long environment. So this is the environment of eligible facts variable. The following table shows some facts in JSON format which is gathered from a managed node and may be useful in the playbook. So if you want to search particular facts from the managed host, we can use filter option like this. I'll, I'll just use a filter option to find out a particular eligible facts. So how can I do that? I use eligible hyphen m setup all then I press a and type filter mm, what I'm going to filter uh, let's see kernel eligible kernel okay so I press enter so it should only collect the kernel version from the specified node which belongs to the all group okay so look at that that is a absolute kernel version of my client one.pool.org that is my managed host one thing i can also do i would like to gather result in some special folder like in my case i am saying it could be linux folder so for this i can run the command like in this way hyphen hyphen pre and i say linux okay so this command is to create the Linux folder and populate the folder with the files which are related to the group members by name. So I press enter, look at that. What happened? Okay, command successfully. And I say ls, look at that. Here is the Linux folder. I'll go over there and type ll command. 
okay so if I cat this file you can see that this is the whole kernel information that I have gathered this is the kernel version because I specify the filter okay so this is the another method we can filter it the output now move to the next example so let's make a playbook using some facts variable and try to understand facts naming system so for being time saving purpose i have already created a playbook named test.yml where i have mentioned the list of tasks with eligible facts variable otherwise video will be very long so i'll show you guys this is my test.yml file so let's understand the playbook with eligible facts feature here i have mentioned a play name play one i want to deploy this playbook on all managed hosts so that's why i mentioned host all then in the task section i mentioned a task name show different fact naming system okay so for the print the host name i use the debug module and mention eligible underscore fqdn in double curly braces with some tags now we have to remember one point that whenever a variable's value in a hash there are two syntaxes that can be used to retrieve the value so here i am going to mention two different fact naming system which shows the same output first one is my eligible underscore fqdn and another could be like uh, i just going to modify a few things eligible underscore facts F facts and start say fqdn that is fully qualified domain name okay that's great so in this example eligible underscore facts fqdn fact would have been called eligible underscore fqdn so both are the same way okay so currently eligible recognize both the new fact naming system that is first one is eligible underscore facts naming system and the older that is pre 2.5 version facts injected as a separate variable naming system this is the older process okay and this is the newer process so currently eligible support both method so for testing purpose i am just comment out the first one and save and quit from there now my playbook is ready to run but before in the playbook do not forget to check the syntax error first so i run the command eligible playbook syntax syntax check test dot yaml sorry syntax check text dot yaml okay looks good now run the playbook so i run the playbook and is able playbook and test dot yaml showing my play name getting some facts okay i got my host name that is manage host of client one dot pool dot org okay so this is the first way by which we use the uh, command and run the uh, grab the output now let's modify the playbook using different fact naming system and run again so i open one more time my test.yml and this time i comment out this and enable it and let's save and quit from there run one more time using the different naming system let's see what happened again play name gathering the facts look at that i got the again the message that is client1.pool.org so i hope the point is clear on different fact naming system mechanism so either you can use this method or you can use this way okay so now next point how to turning off fact gathering feature suppose i didn't wanna uh, use it gathering facts so how can i do that sometimes you don't want to gather facts for our play there are a couple of reasons why this might be cases it might be that you are not using any facts and want to speed up the play or reduce the load by the play on the manage host so to disable the facts gathering feature uh, for a particular play set the gather facts keyboard keyword to no so in the host i just mentioned gather facts say no simple save and quit from there now 
I'm going to run my playbook again. Let's see what happened. This time I disable the gathering facts feature. If I run the playbook, let's see what happened. I got some error because I have disabled the gathering facts feature. Okay, so this is the way why which you can disable the gathering facts feature. So I'm uncommented one more time because I need it for the next practical. Okay, so the next and the last point is you can make your custom facts also. So sometimes administrator can create custom facts which are stored locally on the each managed host. These facts are integrated into the list of standard facts gathered by the setup module when it runs on the managed host. These allows the managed host to provide variables to the eligible which can be used to adjust the behavior of plays. So custom facts can be defined in a static file formatted as an INI file or using JSON okay so let's make a custom fact and use it via playbook so for this i take sss to my manage host first and make a custom fact so for this i open another terminal one more terminal and ss to my manage host so i say sss 10.0.0.2 that is my manage host machine give the password i log in okay now first of all my first task to create the custom fact directory so for this I run the command mkdir minus p that is parent and the location is etc eligible facts eligible facts dot d this one so by default the setup module loads custom facts from files and script in each managed host from a specified location that is slash etc eligible facts dot d directory okay so I make this directory now move to the location and here I create custom file so the name of the each file or script must be ended dot fact in order to be used so I say custom give the name anyone so custom dot fact extension should be dot fact okay so I just make it and point out some value I said pack and web underscore pack is equal to httpd similarly ftp underscore pack vsftpd that's good that's efficient for me okay so this is then the example of static custom fact file written in ini format in this format custom fact file contains a top level defined by a section this is this one is the section i'm talking about that is pack okay and followed by the key value pairs of the facts to be defined so web underscore pack is a kind of variable having the value sttpd similarly ftp underscore pack having the value vsftpd so i just save and quit from here i'll go back so this is a static custom fact file even in case of dynamic custom fact script must output json formatted facts and must be executable okay so now I'll quit from my manage host I have done from the tags on the manager side now go back on the control node and let's see first of all see my custom facts value so I could from there and simple I run the command eligible hyphen m setup and say all hyphen a and again filter what eligible underscore local okay so so custom facts are stored by default by the setup module in eligible underscore fact dot eligible underscore local variable facts are organized based on the name of the file that defined them so let's see when i press enter what happened great it shows my custom variable look at that eligible underscore local that is custom my file name then the pack and the pack FTP pack that is VSFTPD and the web underscore pack that is HTTPD. It's working properly. Okay, so now the point is how can I use this custom facts in my playbook? So for this, I make another playbook and use my custom fact. Okay, so I make another playbook that is uh, new.yaml. I open it, start with three dash and say give the nice name first. Uh, it's play2 and uh, with the host section said all 
in the tax the tax name I say install FTP pack using custom facts okay now for installing the package I use M module M and say name give the path so I say double curly brace and and is able look at that if I save and quit I have to mention the entire path and is able facts and then is able local custom pack and then uh, whatever the package you want to install that is VSFTPD or STTPD so I'll open it and in the same manner I say and is able facts and is able local then custom then pack and my package name is FTP pack variable okay save and quit and give the state is latest I want to install the latest package okay so remember the order that is eligible underscore facts then eligible underscore local custom pack and the package so I check it one more time and is able underscore facts dot and is able underscore local custom pack FTP underscore pack okay looks good save and quit from there and do not forget to check the syntax error so I check it new dot EML let's see okay looks good now time to run the playbook so first I check the dry run so I say capital C and new dot EML so showing my play name, gathering the facts, install FTP pack using custom facts. Okay, it's cool. Great. So now I'm going to finally run this playbook. So again, play name, gathering facts, install FTP pack using custom facts. And uh, okay, great. It runs successfully without giving any error. So hopefully point is clear to you so we can verify from the control node whether package installed or not using ad hoc command so I can use eligible hyphen a and say rpm query vsftpd all so I check whether package installed or not yeah as package vsftpd installed on client one dot pool dot org that is my managed host okay so it's perfectly now finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things Finally, soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then, keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please leave your comments and subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Guys, one more thing. If you want to be interested in real 8 online classes for RSCSA and RSCE section, please contact us through giving links which is mentioned in the description. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.